everything that needs to be done can be done with consent? Yeah, uh, it's voluntary, it's consensual, right? Uh, it's contractual, contracts are consensual, right? And anytime, like again, the Netflix argument, anytime I can cancel and subscribe, or I could compete entrepreneurially, right? Or I could go to Hulu, but when government has a monopoly, you don't have that freedom, like right? Power. Uh, yeah, like uh, like uh, yeah, like Dominion Power is uh, heavily is subsidized uh, with a lot of influence in the lobbying government, and so that they're the only ones in the region, right? So the government they're able to remove competitors, right? If you didn't have government, you don't have that lobbying power. Anyone can compete now, right? Anyone can say, you know what? I could provide you a better form of power or electricity or security uh, than this guy. And look at my credit rating system. You look at my customer reviews. I've been in the business for 10 years. Consumer reports, you know, rates are really high. Uh, kind of like when you go on Etsy or eBay, you look at the ratings, right? It's like Amazon reviews. All right, you know, uh, good reviews arrives on time versus like it comes broken, never uh, it comes here, uh, pieces are all over the place. It's like, well, I won't do business with you, right? But you can choose. You have that choice. You don't have that choice when it comes with government monopoly and services. So yeah, I think it could be, uh, and that's what we want, right? Consent, right? Uh, a, a, a real society based on consent. Um, you don't have that with government. It's uh, non-consensual. You don't have a contract with their monopoly and services. Like when you go into their monopoly and legal disputes and how they resolve conflict in court, um, in, a, in a free society, it'll be the judge that stands up when you enter the room, right? Not hold you in contempt because you don't stand for a stranger that you've never met, right? You're paying his salary, right, through your taxes. Uh, it should be the other way around, right? A business, will, a business will never treat you that way, but government will treat you in a way that they're in control over you, right? The, the moment a business tries to do that, they go bankrupt, right? Uh, their competitors will showcase and say, hey, don't go with this guy. We'll never treat you like that. You know, we'll treat you kindly. We'll treat you with, uh, with that respect. Uh, you know, please, this is like when you go to a restaurant, they say, how can we improve the experience for you, right? Government doesn't have that. <laughs> how can we raise taxes in all these different areas is what they'll ask instead, right? <laughs> cool, I'm Cal, by the way. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. Well, let me give you some pamphlets then. Uh, I pass it to your boyfriend. How you doing? So I would ask you, how is the government of Moro? Great question. Uh, give me one second. You had some uh, questions or concerns? Uh, you just want to listen? Um, first of all, I'm trying to think about what else can I go with with your last example you went through. Yeah. Now that that was that was the argument I was trying to go with him because it makes more sense for me to start with that one, but. Pearl Harbor in Japan. Did you really think we had it? We had, we had a chance, but we couldn't know how what we were doing. So. Wait, I wasn't there. I'm not a part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the the political political regime then had a chance to do what? They didn't know. They didn't know. They did know, but they didn't know at the same time it was going to actually happen. Well, when you do an oil embargo into a nation that's starving for it, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we were doing that because we, we were afraid they were going to hit us next, though. Well, no, no. The United States first was trying to do this to Germany. Germany wouldn't budge in declaring war with the United States. But what they can do is be sneaky and get Japan to initiate war because they're allied with Germany, and that's how Germany got involved. Wasn't Germany trying to figure out another way to get oil in there, technically, too? Or something like that? Because that... The way you're going with it is, it's, it seems like it's kind of out of place to be, sort of, in well, history. Well, history is written by the victor, I understand that. Right. So if we lost, what would happen to history then? What maybe we lost if we never got involved? Well, what would there have been to lose? Yeah, exactly. If we didn't. Get, if, they, if they bombed us, and we didn't do anything. What would have happened? They didn't bomb us. If they no, if they oh, if they, they bomb us, well, yeah. the United States set it up for them to bomb us. How did we set it up? Well, is it convenient that the aircraft carriers were the ones that take longer to build or out of ports? That's convenient, yes. Is it convenient? Okay, is that it convenient uh, that they've evidence that they knew ahead of time uh, reading the Japan reports? Uh, if you like information, I'll share it with you. Okay. I think it'd be, uh, yeah, in light of me as well, coming to come across that. But the question was, uh, is it plausible that the United States would uh, murder its own people? Yes. Yeah, it is plausible. And that was the only reason why we were engaged it, in that conversation. It's, it's, There's nothing to say whether they should be involved or not. It's um, not pop. They will murder their own people, yes. I understand yeah. that. Any government will murder its own people if they do not believe in the exact thing they're trying to say. Correct. Case in point, um, the Soviet trials that we had, they, they literally put them in jail. Right, case in point, the war on drugs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and that's, uh, that's, those are the points I was just uh, drawing up and bringing. But that's not immoral. 
It's not immoral to... No, it's not. The government is not immoral. The government is not immoral? It has its own morals. No, they don't. No, say it's wrong for you to steal, but I'll call it taxes. They call it by a different name. It's 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 not immoral. It's the fact that we have certain set values you that don't we think the government has. You don't have any... We have to make sure. It's not we. Are, yes, we as a union of the United States. You are America. the government? No. We are all the government technically. We have the right to vote on a president. We have the right to vote on our on our people. Can you show me your contract with this government services a monopoly that you have a relationship it's not, with? It's not monopoly. You don't can you show me this it's contract? Not a monopoly. Can you show me this contract? It's not a monopoly. Can you show me this? It's in not a monopoly. Of, right, here's in case you, oh, of power. In case of power. For anyone look, look. you and welcome, I'm gonna show you that government has a monopoly on these Let services. Let me just say this to this man, man. First Lieutenant Andre Ramos. I, I was in the military got, myself. Thank I just you. got back from Iraq and mm -hmm. I want to say it was a pleasure fighting so that you could speak against our country. And I will say I was in the military and it has Did failed you? in protecting your freedom. Well, I'm failed. The mission you know. has failed. You and I both know. I was in the military and I would tell you to. It has failed in Can protecting you? our freedom. Here we're losing our freedom, right. not overseas in Iraq. You're being distracted. Right. Let me going ask over you this, there. Oh, you can lay on my hand. Okay, Please. Can, can, you, can you speak like this in any other country against the government? Uh, Isn't this a beautiful freedom, man? No, it's not. But I can't. I can't smoke cannabis without being threatened to throw, throw into a cage. I can't make claims over Certain my own body. Certain states are making that legal. I, I don't. My after 75 card. years to finally have the freedom to smoke a plant, that's not a measure of success when you have lost so many others in the same amount of time. Okay. The Patriot Act, the National Defense Authorization Act. Every other act restricts your freedom. Every other act puts you in control to be a tax slave. That's not freedom. What did John F. Kennedy say? Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. So what are you doing for this country besides talking bad about it? Talking bad about it? Well, I, I joined the military and I found out that it was wrong. Sorry, it does not defend your freedom. If the military exists to defend your freedom, then we will have more freedom. What's your definition right? of freedom? Freedom, freedom to, to do as I please, unless it doesn't aggress against anyone else, to own my own body. To own my own money, my property. You do own your own No, you don't. Eminent domain says you do not own your property. Property taxes says you do not own your house, even you pay off in full. There's a guy in D.C., $157 property taxes he did not pay. The D.C. government put a lien this out, threw him out on the street. That's how the government takes care of the poor, making them homeless. That is not freedom. You do not own your property. You do right not now, own your body. Right now, I don't see any... If you and I, if we were in Iraq... You know what? I would tell you otherwise. I have a video right. of VCU cops no, no, here listen. telling me that wait, I can't wait, speak wait. here. Right. But you know, my point is... Don't you agree that what you're speaking now, you cannot say this in any other country against the government? So you want to compare prison farms of other, of other governments? No, that we have a nicer cage than the other cages that other people live in. That's cage. how you you look at freedom. Brother, we have to have a system. We can have systems, but I want a consensual, voluntary system. We have that. No, you don't. Show me your contract with government. My word. That's not a contract. It's not. No, it's not. Show me your contract. Show me your name with these monopolies, with these government services, with police. But you, I respect you. Did though. you know that the police have no constitutional duty to protect you? The judges, Supreme Court has ruled in many cases, the police have no duty to protect your life, your liberty, or your property. None. You're forced to pay for a service they don't have to provide. How is that legit? How is that reasonable? How is that rational? How is that freedom? I want real security. Not one in which they can arbitrarily decide on their own, well, it's not worth it. So how do you propose we get the security? How do we propose? Well, we first have to be in line with our own values. I don't use violence to solve my problems. I find a plurality on non-violent solutions. Let's universalize that rule. It doesn't matter what title you have, what color costume you wear. It's wrong and immoral for anyone to initiate that force. And let's start off with that foundation. Let's go to a free society that's consensual versus one that's not in terms of government. Right? I could, you could show me your contract with uh, AT&T, with your mortgage, with uh, Netflix, with your car payments. But you can't show me a contract with the government monopoly and services. With the police security, you have no contract with. Right? If they do wrong, they have immunity. They have no liability. Judges have no liability. State prosecutors have no liability. What's the root of your angle? The root of my angle is I, I want to be free. I don't want my children to be born with social, social security prison tattoo numbers on their, on their feet. And which they're forced to pay for, use as collateral, and which when it's time for them to retire, I'll have nothing left. And you all have those numbers on your I don't know. I, I, we're, we're forced to. It was never supposed to be used as an identification number, but now you have to show when you go to work. What about birth, uh, birth certificates? I mean, Would you like some more uh, information? Yeah, Would you like some pamphlets? That. Sure, yeah, no, 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 I'm not, hey, yeah, ignorant, no, 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 no. the word ignorant simply means not knowing, but I hear you out. All right, all right, well, let me, let me give you some, what, uh, you know, the VA's dicking me around right now as I speak, but I'll still fight for these young people here to have the freedom that they do have right now. And I would tell you I was in the military and has done nothing to protect our freedom or grant us more freedom. Uh, I think we've been misled. It's here at home where we're losing it, not overseas in places we've never been to. It's by the very politicians here that are taking away our freedom, and that's where the fight needs to be taken. Right. Elect your official, elect your political ruler, your slave master. I don't want a ruler. A, a, a politician can tell you what you can, can I do with your body? What is that? 
A definition of a ruler. No, it's the definition of a ruler. If you want a slave master, go for it. Have a safe word. I don't need one. I don't want one. I think it's immoral for a stranger to have that kind of power over a human being. If you think otherwise, that's fine. Otherwise. No, that's fine. Have a safe word. Yeah, you know, have this kinky BDSM relationship. No, I don't need a slave master. We elect them. You don't elect them. Who elects them then? So, so you need a stranger to speak on your behalf because you can't speak yourself? I can speak for myself. Then why do you I need a stranger my, to do that? I call my senator and tell him I don't believe in this bill. Can I not do that? All right. Uh, would someone like to... Well, well, if you want to start over, what voting is, you're violently forcing your preferences onto other people. You have your preferences that you want to solve these community problems. And in effect, you're like the politician. That politician, his or only job is to legislate your ideas and opinions uh, into laws. Those laws of opinions are then backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint. You could take a government opinion on cannabis. If I were to smoke a plant, I'd be kidnapped, arrested, thrown into a cage, a prison. When any point of refuse to resist because I don't agree with that opinion and try to escape, I'd be met with more violence or sometimes shot, murdered. That is the effect of voting. Voting is forcing your opinions onto other people. How are you forcing opinions on other people? Well, when, when you want to advocate for uh, against, well, how do, how do you think it became uh, illegal for, for cannabis to begin with? People was, voted that's, for that. That, that was because we voted. That's because we Voted for the wrong. We voted. I didn't vote. I wasn't alive. Other people voted, forced their preferences onto before I was born, and engaged me with that. Wait, couldn't it be that you know um, competitions between different types yeah. of governments or societies they don't e exist as much as they should? I mean, you could consider what do you mean the as much as they should. You could consider the states as somewhat of a competition, but the federal government still has to impose on the states to the do laws. what it wants. Yeah, and the states, and that's not. You know, oh, government is a government is a government. Uh, politician is a politician is a politician. And they come in many shapes and sizes, and they come from your local political rulers, the city council, to the mayor, to the governor. Yeah, these are strangers who would decide what you can and cannot do with your own body. And if you do not listen and obey, they will send their, their thugs after you. If you do not pay your taxes, they will throw you into another cage. That has nothing to do with morality. It has nothing to do with being just or consensual. That's just factually how it works. Objectively, that's what the that's matrix just, is. That's just technically... We're slaves. We're tax slaves. That we're is objectively what it is. Yeah, but we're tax slaves because we made we made a tax code so impenetrable that we can't get past it now. But you didn't. All the people before yes, that did. People. Right. Now you're a slave to you're past you're preferences. Blamed, you're blaming everybody before you technically. No, I'm, I'm, bl I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying how it came to be. You didn't have a choice. You can't. Now it's like between like your father choosing who your internet service provider is going to be before you're even born. How does that make sense? Uh, Social Security, same thing, right? Uh, th these are supposed to be services that should be consensual, voluntary, contractual. They were supposed to be originally. Uh, in the past, they used to be. Government outlawed competition. USPS is a great example of a government monopoly. USPS has a monopoly on first-class mail, delivering pieces of paper. It is illegal and criminal for, for FedEx, UPS, and DHL to deliver. This is a communist. What he advocates for is to murder capitalists and have his own communistic society onto everyone. I met this guy. I debated him. Um, and that's what he advocates for. I advocate for a free society based on consent. Everything has to be his. Everything has to be his, his way, and there's no other way around it. Would you like to have another debate, my friend? Come on. This is great to see you again. No, no, no come here. Come here, Brian. It's great to see you again. My great uh, communist nemesis. Or capitalist no society. desire to talk. You know, come here. Come on. You're, you're showing your stuff. You obviously Wait. want to talk. That's why you're here. Wait. Uh, I don't. Please. Let's do this once more, Brian. Capitalist or a, a capitalist. Well, anyways. Or, uh,